It's war time. What time is it? 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 War time. So now you know the truth. What you gonna do? Understand that God only has a chosen few. Amos 3 and 1, only family most I ever knew. Psalms 147, Jacob got the laws and the statues. It's almost time to go, enduring to the end. Gotta meditate, day and night, observing what's pretend. Got my fringes on, you should know, abstaining from those sins. Yeah, we serving God, Almighty God, if truth and righteousness, Deuteronomy 28. The most I wasn't playing, then you told them once Rising up, we return it to our land Israel can't be stopped, we won't be stopped We numbers like the sand Revelation 13, 10 God gon' make them understand And Israel, he ain't coming back Thank God Israel, Israel, yeah It's war time We are Israel United in Christ And we're here to teach you so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. Give me John 8 verse 32. Because for too long we've been in these churches. We've been in these, uh, these, these buildings that God does not dwell in. Let's see what the truth is, who you are according to the Bible. You guys are Israelites, not blacks, not Hispanics, not Native Americans. Read. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And ye shall know the what? And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. This is the truth according to the Bible. You are Israelites, so you got to repent before the black Messiah comes. Let's see what the truth is according to the Bible. Give me Psalms 119, verse 142. Because y'all might think that the, 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 the Christian church is the truth. Y'all might think your own opinion is the truth. Let's see what the truth is according to the scriptures. Not to your own vain of opinion, not to your own vain thoughts, but according to the scriptures. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So his righteousness, God's righteousness is keeping his laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. And thy law. And thy what? And thy law. And thy law. Is the truth. God's laws is it the truth. That's what righteousness is. Keeping God's laws. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 5. Because y'all like to call yourselves blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, coons, spigs, niggas, wetbacks, vatos. Let's see what happened to our people. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. This is not a religion. This is not a, 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 a movement. This is a heritage, a culture, who you are. You are kings and princes of the Most High God. But now it's time to, for you to open your eyes and start acting like it, applying God's laws. Read. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And now are we serving our enemies in the land that we know not? Right. We, 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 we're the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, all the tribes of the children of Israel are not from this land. Right. Right. So, so what did he say? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Which we know not. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Bring it up. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Because it was supposed to be the blacks and Hispanics, y'all was supposed to rule the earth. Right. But we're going to see what happened. We're going to see some curses and some blessings. Because y'all love to say y'all blessed. But look at your communities. Look how you're treating each other. Right. Look how the example that you're setting for yourselves. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this was supposed to happen if you listen to the Most High God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. To observe and to do all his commandments. Oh, no, read that slow. Read that again slow. To observe and to do and to what and to do and to do not just observe them not just look at them and just hear them but you gotta do them that's what makes you a god that's what makes you a princess of the most high god by doing god's commandments read to observe and to do all his commandments which i command thee this day 
that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. But are we above all nations of the earth today? No, we're below all nations of the earth today. Why? Verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses that all these what that all these curses that all these curses curses are a bad thing punishments read shall come upon thee and overtake thee these curses are overtaking our people they overtook our people in 1619 they overtook our people in 1492 why because we didn't want to listen to god's commandments laws statutes and commandments but y'all want to uh, celebrate christmas right y'all want to do halloween right Y'all want to do all these vain holidays and all these vain things that America has, has taught you. Give me Revelations 18 and 4. This is what repentance is. I'm going to show you some repentance. Read, read, get that for me, so Get that for me. Bring it out. Bring it out. The book of Revelations, chapter 18, verse 4. Hallelujah. I, I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. So God is saying, come out of her, my people. He didn't say, come out of her, everybody. He didn't say, come out of her, uh, the whole world. He said, come out of her, who? My people, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The true Israelites of the Bible. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sin. That we be not partakers of her sins because this world promotes uh, homosexuality. This, this world promotes se us lust, sexual lust, uh, uh, fit, uh, women in pants, uh, men shaving off their beards. They promote sin, drugs. Read. And that ye receive not of her pledge. Hey, being, being bugged out on drugs is a plague. It's a sin that is in our community today. Give me, uh, give me 1 Kings 8. No, give me Amos 3 and 1 first. Amos 3 and 1. Let me show you why these punishments are and judgments are coming upon you. Read that. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. So God only uh, speaking to the children of Israel. Again, this Bible is not for everybody. But the churches think this is a, a, a fairy tale book. This is your history. This is your culture. This is your heritage. Who you are, black man, black, a Hispanic man, Native American man, so-called. Read, read it again. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O oh, children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known. What did he say? You only have I known. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God only knows you. So that's why these judgments, that's why these curses are going on you. But, and, but yeah, you, you say, oh, why is these things happening to me? Why, why, am I, why can't I uh, pay for my rent? Why can't I find find a, a good man? Why can't I find a good woman? Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Hey, sister, you have a question? Yes, I don't understand Revelations. Can you explain Revelations to me? Revelations what? Chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse what? Give me Revelations chapter 3, verse 5. Let's see what that says. I may entertain your question. Let's see. The book of Revelations chapter 3, verse 5. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. He that overcometh what, sister? We're going to explain. He that overcometh to the end. We're going to see what that means, sister. Because you've been taught what our people have been taught, all of us. We've been taught wrong. How do we get the understanding of the Bible? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So our people love to say they saved, but is it the end yet? No, these are the last days, but is it, it's not the end. Give me 2nd Ezra 9 and 7. 
Second Ezra is nine and seven. So you're you're enduring all the trials, you're enduring all the temptations, all the lust. But you first, you have to repent. You have to know that you're an Israelite. If you are an Israelite, if you're the Spirit bear witness, if your people went into slavery in 1619, if your people got uh, uh, raped, robbed, and murdered, you're going to bear witness with these these curses. You're going to be enduring, uh, long lasting, overcoming. These, these trials, these things that's going to come up on you. Read. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 7. And every one that shall be saved and shall be above and shall be able to escape by his work. By his work? By his work. So now, this is how you're going to be saved, by your works. James 2 and 20, uh, 20 says you cannot have faith without works. So you know that you're an Israelite, but you what is your works behind you knowing? That's what belief is. You doing it. Read. And by faith, whereby ye have believed. And by faith, ye have believed. So you have to have both. Faith and works. Say Matthew, say Matthew chapter 3. What did you say? Say Matthew chapter 3. Okay, well, well what, you know that you're an Israelite, right? Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because these deep mysteries, we don't have to worry about those. We're going to know everything when Christ comes back. Right. We're going to know that. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So that's what he's saying. And now, Israel, since you know all these things, you probably know all the mysteries. These other Israelites, they know people know that they Israelites, but what does the Lord God require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. How do you fear God? Give me Sirach 19 and 20. How do you fear God? Let's see. According to the scriptures. The book of Sirach, chapter 19, verse 20. Listen to this, sis. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. The Bible is redundant. It's saying the same thing. Right. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. Is the what? Is the performance of the law. So you know, a uh, sister's not wearing pants. That's in the law. A man having jobs. That's a law. You understand that? So this is how you fear God. You're going to be keeping God's laws, applying it to your life. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.